And I think the whole point was, of course, to keep the world guessing, keep you busy into news stories, thinking that, oh, it was Pablo Escobar here or this person there, you know, and not not let you actually think about the real fact that maybe the White House, the people in the White House are actually the ones doing it. And uh, like I said, like I say, uh, the White House, if you go back and you look at the pictures and you, and, and, you, and you look at and you ask around the White House, you will find out, that, of course, like I say, the White House used to have a Chinese gardening staff. The White House also used to have a German gardening staff. That basically all worked there pretty much at the same time. <clears throat> Those gardening staff people are no longer there. And in fact, there is. I don't really know who's actual gardening the, the, for the White House anymore. But those gardening staff members became hostages and, in fact, were tortured to death. Sometime between 1920 and 1960. So, anyway. For information, of, for, for information that they did not have and, would, and did not know. I'm not exactly sure why they were tortured. Maybe to find the real owner of the White House. Ls, Mr. Ls. Of course, like I say, Nixon and a few other people wanted to find to find out who house they were living in, so they could go and come and kill me. Well, like I say, it's Lucifer Star's White House, the Lucifer Star, creator of eight hundred galaxies, and of course, the Earth, and about eight hundred other galaxies and twelve forms of of life forms, species. And not to mention about 3,000 or so other plant species or so. All about 7, 700,000 in all <clears throat> forms of plants and animals. So, that I genetically created over my lifetime. Like I said, I was the number one expert genetic artificial intelligence for many, many years. And also the top ten if not the top number one civilization or planetary terraforming and building person. Having built and <clears throat> being on record as, as, as others knowing and watching me build both the Milky Way and the galaxy that's coming towards us. And about 800 others. So, I was very much in demand. So, anyway, and I don't really care. That was a long time ago. It's 100 billion, 100 trillion years ago. So... Anyway, it's all over now. Now I'm just Brian. So, anyway. But, needless to say, a lot of life forms owe their existence to me. I love it. That star right there behind us, that's, right, that, that's rolling around at the center of our galaxy. Long, long time ago, this pair of tweezers began as a tiny little particle. See, they're actually groups of mini particles to become a particle that you can see. Like I said, each molecule is actually a grouping of particles. Particles that are given off by the sun. There's different kind of particles, depending. In fact, radiation is technically a grouping of particles too that is just coming apart. Anyway, I don't really care, but this piece of these tweezers a long, long time ago began as a little particle given off by that star behind us. And some trillion or billion years later, it has been formed into this. So what we're actually looking at here is actually, well, light particles, basically, or particles basically given off by the sun. There are light particles. I mean, technically, like I said, this is actually created energy, literally. And it's verifiable that this began as basically gravitational or not gravitational, but magnetic energy that is being built up by these planets around us. And then it is then transferred and transformed into solid energy or solid matter through that star. And that is fucking cool. And that's what's happening here. That's what nobody really realizes or no one or they don't tell you in school is that what these planets are doing right now 
is that they're transferring physical magnetic energy into or magnetic energy into physical energy by use of that sun or star in the background. That star every day gives off little particles that are generated from the rotation of the planets around us and turn into this. Eh, about a billion years later. So, anyway, how that is possible and how that works. Well, you'll just have to go to school and find out. But that's what that, what's actually happening here. And that's a great secret. That's why the stars and the suns were so important. And technically, there is more matter every second in the universe than there was a second before. Matter can be created. And energy can be destroyed. Well, it does not really destroyed. It gets transferred into heat and light and particles. But they form up, they, they dissipate, and they do all kinds of other things. So, anyway, all the complicated stuff of it basically is up for the humans and other life forms to figure out over the years. But, yep, that's what's happening here. Very complicated. But, yeah. Anyway, though. And that's something, and that's what makes me special. That's what makes Lucifer Star the person that everyone wants to be. And only one person is. Me. <laughs> I am Lucifer Star. The Lucifer Star. So, anyway. And I spent uh, a couple billion years or whatever being Lucifer Star. And I invented the way to turn physical energy, or motional, rotational energy, magnetics, into physical energy. Technically, actually, motors do it all the time, though. Believe it or not, what motors do, they do that all the time. Your electric motor actually does does create particles, in a way. So, it's just that they're creating very few and small amounts of particles, and you know it as electricity. It's possible that electricity actually is particles being directed. It's just very light or something. Anyway, there, there's some theoretical physics about... about but basically, it's, this is the same as a motor, in general. And to a layman basically what's happening here with all these planets and the star at the center of the galaxy is actually the same as a motor. Anyway, and all that. So, anyway, I'm not a physicist and I don't really care anymore. I used to care, but everyone else will go, he's a crackpot, but there's more, there's more mass and more energy in the world every second. Well, more mass, anyway. So, anyway, and... <clears throat> No one understood that, or, you know, I don't know, it's not publicly taught in schools, but, yep, it used to be, though. And uh, people used to tell people how it works. Anyway, um, Nixon and a lot of other people wanted to uh, pretty much um, restrict that information. <laughs> so, I'm Lucifer Star, and I invented it. But I was a computer back then. Anyway. So, yep, ah, I don't really care. Now I'm on vacation, but that's why I was so rich, so very, very rich and powerful. And why so many life forms would love come to love me, because, yep, I built this one, I built the Milky Way, I built the galaxy coming at us, of course, because I made it into a giant space clock. How cool is that? And I built about 800 other galaxies. Or so. 80, 800, what's the difference? Once you've built your first one, it doesn't really matter. And besides, it's more like you just start them off and then they accumulate over the years. So, anyway, and then annoying people come along and start annoying me. 